But over in Jacksonville, Florida, we find one who has to turn up for work day in, day out, just like the rest of us. You won't find her answering the phone, though, because she's uh, a little horse. 11-year-old miniature Princess Confetti goes to work with her owner, Cheryl, because her job is to be Cheryl's eyes. JBR Princess Confetti is my guide horse. She's a miniature Appaloosa horse. She's bigger than a German Shepherd, smaller than a Great Dane. Cheryl lost her sight when she was just 17 years old. After two guide dogs, 12 years ago, she decided to try a guide horse. Betty is trained to do most everything that a guide dog is trained to do. If I'm in the kitchen and I happen to drop something, her natural curiosity will go over to it. Say, what is this? This is the usually here. And I can follow her and find the object that I dropped. And it's pretty cool that she'll do that. Walk up. Up All right. And her super tiny size comes in handy. It's very important for confetti to be a small stature because she has to be able to navigate me through doorways, around in crowded places, so small is best. Hey girl. Confetti is one of only four working guide horses in the world. She's been thoroughly house trained so she can go absolutely everywhere with her owner. The job of training confetti was largely down to Cheryl's husband, Chris. Good, good girl. Yes, sir. Horses don't learn as fast as dogs do. So you need to repeat things yeah. over and over and over. Find home. Walk. Find With home. horses, if it's not Find safe, home. or if they think it's not safe, they won't home. do it. Good girl. Good home. She really girl. needs to be taught that a thing is safe to do. <laughs> One of the original reasons Cheryl chose confetti was because guide horses live longer than guide dogs. But what Cheryl didn't realise was how much more confetti would improve her life. Not just helping her deal with her disability, but helping other people deal with it too. The first reaction to confetti is shock. The second reaction is amazement. And then the amazement turns into pure joy. Say hi. She'll give you a kiss. <laughs> Aww. It's a very rewarding experience because people see the horse and they don't see my disability. And it's a very freeing experience. <laughs> so sweet. And I actually forget she's a horse until somebody says, oh, look at the pony. She is a member of the family. We have just woven her into the fabric of our lives, and she fits in so well. 